this is a pro tough problem to make a video for because there are any number of ways to mess up a trigonometric identity. There are only usually a few ways to write them correctly. So in this list over here, you're going to see mostly correct identities, this list on the left. But every now and then, there's going to be an error in it. And those errors have been mostly inspired by students over the years. But there are a couple common ones that I can tell you to watch out for. When you see one like this, okay, that might remind you of a Pythagorean identity, the one cottage cheese identity. But where are the squares? It's missing the squares to it that are supposed to be in there. So that sticks out to me like a, a big old mistake right there. Uh, there might be some more mistakes in here. So typically there's, uh, well, as few as one or as many as four or five mistakes in this problem. I want to encourage you to memorize all the trig identities that I have written over here on the right. And I'll, I'll just go through them. You can pause the video, um, jot these down if you don't have them, uh, use them in this problem or elsewhere. But what we have here are, these are called the basic trig identities because they're the ones we learn first. Then you have some that are called even odd identities. And they come in handy whenever the argument flips its sign from positive to negative. And then you have what I think are some of the most useful identities right here. These are called the Pythagorean identities. Okay, moving on, you have the sum difference identities. And I think the first two of those are the most important, the sine and the cosine identities. Uh, you really need to memorize those. You can figure out tangents if you need it. So you don't need to memorize tangent, but sine and cosine, those are pretty essential. And then moving on, the last major identities that we cover in my class anyway, are the double angle identities. Okay, And these ones don't necessarily need to be memorized. You can derive them or reinvent them from the sum difference identities. And likewise, with the half angle identities. These are the most common identities used in this at, at trigonometry in this level of high school algebra. I'd recommend memorizing most of them, but in terms of the really essential ones, probably this screenshot right here. You should memorize this screenshot right here for sure. 